G'day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add paths and um, explain why they're important. We're looking at a, um, a photo of uh, Yarraman, which was um, and the different sites from a field trip I went on recently. If I go up here to add path, let's uh, name this path Yarraman Creek Field Trip. Description, something my students might say, uh, there was too much walking. Okay, now I've got a little uh, crosshair here. I want to click on the first point, click again on the next point, site 3, site 4, site 5. Okay, well that's done now in my um, places here, in my Yarraman Field Trip folder. I've got now a path here called Yarraman Creek Field Trip. I can turn that on and turn it off. Other things I can do, if I go down here to properties, I can change the style and the color. So it's white at the moment. Let's make it uh, orange. And I can change the width. Let's make it a little bit thicker so it's easier to see. The opacity, you can change that to make it um, a little bit see-through if you want to, but it's not that um, useful. And there's a few other things here that you can um, change at the moment. I'll put the, the length of that kilometers, 2.2 kilometers. That's how far we walked on our field trip. It's measured the distance of this particular path. A really useful thing for geographers is um, we can use this to make elevation profiles. So if I right click here and I go down to show elevation profile, what this shows me, this you can have a look at the, um, the, the cursor and the, the um, image at the same time. This is me going through the journey of the field trip. So right here we're on the um, the East Link Freeway and here there was obviously a hill. We went uphill, we went downhill to site three. We're going down the river. Now this is the lowest point. Here we're going up again. There was a mountain here. Um, yeah, it goes all the way up to site five, which is the highest point, which makes sense because here we're following a river and the river is going downhill. Now it doesn't exactly fo follow the um, shape of the river because my path doesn't follow all the way along the river. I've just gone straight here um, through the roads and through the houses and everything. But you can get the idea of how this is a really good t tool to show elevation. Let's go somewhere like um, Mount Everest. I'll just close this as we're going. All right, I'll just zoom out. Let's say I want to go up Mount Everest. Well, let's add another path. Let's start down here. Um, let's go up here. We've got the path saved here. Show ele elevation profile and you can see, okay, relatively flat, qu quite hilly by Australian standards. But um, yeah, as we start to climb up Mount Everest, we're at um, 1,800 meters, two and a half, 3,000 meters. And we're going all the way up to our highest point, um, over 8,000 meters. And that's a really good way to um, understand how uh, long profiles or elevation profiles work. 